Ladies and gentlemen, your next match of the evening to be fought over three three minute rounds under amateur mixed martial arts rules in the lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, making his engaged debut, representing London Fight Zone. Please welcome Linus Tanamichas. His opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He enters the cage with a record of one victory. Lightweight belt here, Linus Salakabicius from London Fight Zone in the blue corner, Alex Talamaki in the red corner. And Talamaki coming from the Promi MMA camp. Alex there with a the squatted stance, and we see that a lot from the Promi MMA guys. That ability to move in and out, that elusive footwork that we're seeing more and more of now in MMA. You know, his ability to just bounce in and out of range land shots and not get hit himself is something to be watched but I mean you got to say Linus has got some power in those punches it's coming from a very tough camp you know he's worked a lot on his strength and conditioning he's worked a lot on his transfer of power in his strikes and he spoke about that feeling out process in the last fight these guys just doing the same at the moment Linus nice low kick on the outside there I think I'm going to go for Linus for the duration of this bout. I've took a couple of looks at that second name, and uh, I'm going to leave that one for you, Dean. Yeah, Salika Vicious, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to stay safe too, though. <laughs> His name's Linus to me now. But Linus, yeah, in, in the uh, red shorts, Linus, and Alex in the white, black, and red shorts. But as of yet, again, we're seeing in the first round kind of like a, oh, a jumping deep kick there from Linus, but a, a kind of feeling out process here. You know, you see where your, your opponent's strengths and weaknesses lie. Look for the ways in, but you know, stay safe and don't rush and get caught with something silly. I've got to say, Tal Mackie looks uh, very, very big at the weight, at, at amateur here at Lightweight. Very thick set individual. He's quite big for a lightweight, actually. You might cut a lot of weight. A lot of athletes do. They go away and cut a lot of weight before coming into a fight. And it's cool if you've done that for, for a long time and you understand where your limits are and, and you know, your body's, it's not kind of, your, your performance is not inhibited coming to the fight. I mean, almost certainly still looks, you know, fresh, nice and fast on the feet, but as the, as the fight gets into the deep end, you know, the, the transitions, yeah. the, the endurance, you know, is that going to play a part in such a massive weight cut? If indeed that's what, you know, what he does, and it seems to me that he does because he's quite a big guy, but... Yeah, as it is, neither guy really having much output at the moment. There, uh, he said, a clash of styles here. Both guys just trying to work each other out. It's also respect of power as well. Yeah. They, they respect each other's ability to shut each other off in this fight. You know, so they don't want to make too many mistakes and get caught with the counter. Those big leg kicks. Look at the left leg already, just under the knee there. Of. Alex, this is reddening already. That's promoted him to get the takedown. Oh, big aerial slam there. And the crowd respond, and that's going to get him huge points on his judges' scorecards. Yeah, extremely powerful individual and a powerful takedown there from Tamaki. Not sure how long he has to work in this side control position. Looking for the crucifix position here. He's got to get the unhook of the right arm of Linus. Linus was able just to sneak that arm in and then secure that turtle position. But I mean, I mean just, that was just kind of a telltale sign of two high-level guys feeling out each other. When the other one makes a mistake, they swarm on in. Yeah, good work from Sam Mackey because I, I think Linus was possibly leaning towards taking that down with, uh, excuse me, taking that round with those low kicks, as you mentioned. The damage is building up there on that left side. And then Sam Mackey gets the big, big takedown, catching the eyes of the judges, gets that top position and begins to work there. Probably enough for him to nick that round be interesting to see Dean Webry comes out in the second round looking to wrestle straight away now he's had that success. Yeah and in the corner there, I mean the corner of, of Alex, they're icing look what looks like it's his right forearm, not that knee, which is interesting. But as we're looking into the corner here of Linus, you can see the focus on his eyes. 
and looking into the corner of Alex, when he got to his feet, there was ever, slight, ever so slightly a limp from that front lead leg. Yeah. You know, so um, Linus almost certainly is going to recognise that and start to target that lead leg with those kicks. Look at that. He's shaking that out. That's a telltale sign. You don't want to do that in a fight that he's basically told Linus that, you know what, kick my leg. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a catch-22 as well from uh, Linus's position because obviously he doesn't want to get slammed on his head again, but he wants to throw those kicks. As I say that, Superman punch. I mean, that's the, the, the type of thing that infuriates you as a corner man. You know, you want him to get on, the, on his bike and carry him landing those strikes. Throws a flashy strike, but then gets into the clinch situation where he has been punished before. And again, looks like he's going to get punished a second time. Doing well to get back to the cage and get to his feet. Alex did a great job of wrestling here. He looked for the single, followed the hips around, circled off. He looked for the potentially the high crotch in this position. He's a little bit low on the knee. He needs to start thinking about going higher to the crotch of Linus. When you kind of you've got your arm, your forearm underneath the knee joint there, the opponent can force a lot more weight through that limb, which makes it very difficult for you to posture and get a takedown. Maybe looking for the ankle pick here. He's going to reach over. Does Alex looking to suck away that leg? And that's why you see Linus sense that. He felt that. He, and he widened his base almost like he was going to do the splits, but that opens up the single leg again here from Alex. A very smart back and forth battle here, but I mean, for me, Alex is the better wrestler in this position. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, like we said, the warning sign was there for Linus in the first round with that massive takedown. I mean, it almost looked like he landed on his head. It was, uh, it was very close. But now he's engaged in this clinch from that failed Superman punch and he's spent the, the rest of this round trying to get out of this position basically and although Alex isn't landing any any strikes per se really you know it's tough to get around when you're just defensively wrestling like this there we go Look, this is what Linus needs to get the unhooks he needs to leave his opponent up he's looking to circle off there but he's got to keep his hands up in those transitions Alex did a great job of striking as Linus tried to escape that, that back position. But again, he swarms in, David, like we were talking about. It's much like the Superman punch. He swarms in and allows Alex to level change and now finds himself with a double unhooks. Yeah, which is bizarre because the first round was almost a story of neither of them wanting to swarm in like that. But uh, perhaps Linus getting a bit frustrated with how, the, how this round's gone. Because as we said, although he's not really shifted any damage, he has spent a lot of time in this kind of position. Alex, yeah, Alex could be careful about grabbing onto the cage there. He can't hold on to it. If the referee sees that, he's going to deduct a point. You know, he's got to kick this clean. You know, he's winning the, the, the exchanges in, in the grappling realm and wrestling up against the cage. Nice knee from Alex. So what he's got to do, he's got to keep busy. He's got to disguise these pummels, disguise the takedowns with the strikes. Beautiful level change. Looking for the double leg now. Now finds himself nice and hip. He's got a hip in here. Look for the knee slicer indeed. Look for the mounted position. But he's, either way, he's got to use the cage to his advantage. He's got a pressure when Linus steps up into the cage. And to look for the takedown, he's got to pull Linus away from that cage. Yeah, and the thing is, I mean, we spoke about the fatigue with, with the body frame of Tarmaki, but this is obviously his game. You know, you can tell that the guy's a wrestler with his technique and what he's going out looking for. So Tarmaki is used to working at that tempo and working in those kind of ranges. It's like, the, you know, Fitness in, in different sports doesn't necessarily translate. I do jiu-jitsu all the time, Dean. I couldn't run 100 yards, you know. And, and Tamaki's used to doing that wrestling grind. He might not be used to striking on the outside, I don't know. But as it is, Linus is, is falling into this trap and he's been made to do this fight at Tamaki's pace. And I, I, I think you pointed out and noticed Linus doesn't look too good going back to his corner there in between rounds either. Yeah, I mean, he's looking through his hand, he's limping, he's, 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 you know, his posture, like his hands on the top of his legs, he's leant over, you know, whereas the contrast, if you look to the right of your screen there, you can see Alex on his feet, he's gaining instructions, he's ready to go, he's getting some slaps and some punches from his corner, man. And it's, it's such a contrasting kind of view from both athletes here. And it seems to me that Linus is almost defeated, and the, and the word you used I love is grind, and, and Alex does a great job of grinding away at his opponents and he's doing just that against Linus. Linus has got to dive down into his bag now and regain that confidence and get after it. Stop making silly mistakes, covering too much ground, pick his shots, work the footwork on the outside, you know, and work those leg kicks that we saw in the first round. He's got a hammer away at that lead leg. Alex does well to crowd that distance and almost just throws his man down to the ground there. It's probably a fancy judo name for that that I don't know, but just aggressive wrestling there from Tal Mackey and he's on top position in half guard and you can tell, we, I mean we mentioned the state of Linus in between rounds and 
how difficult it was for Taumaki to get it to the ground in the early rounds. Now, just looks like his opponent's faded a little bit now. Yeah, and this is the thing here. In this position, you need explosion to get to your feet. You need explosive power, and you need gas in the tank for that. You know, if, if Alex has grinded so much on Salinas that he's broken physically as well as mentally, Alex is in trouble. does he just needs to keep ticking over in the eyes of the ref a lot of wrestling style grapplers will be content to sit in half guard sit back in it the randy couture blueprint from years ago just sit here and chip away on the opponent not even look for a pass yeah Linus in trouble here i think i said alex just second ago i'm getting so excited but Linus is in trouble here he's been broken physically he's got a lot of pressure on him you know alex did a good job of, uh, of rising to this occasion by using the strikes here looking to his corner for some advice He's just got to stay busy again, the hammer fist from the top, work the uh, advancement of positions, he's going to try and sneak that right leg across the belly of Linus to gain the mounted position, but the cage at this present time is blocking him on that right side. I like to see him clasp a hold of the head and the arm of Linus and drag him away from the cage. Interesting stand-up here from the referee. And Alex looking to his corner, I think he was asking how much time is left. Yeah, I think that was quite a generous stand-up really, but Alex straight back at it. Desperately trying to avoid this takedown now, maybe looking to work a hand in for the guillotine. Alex pressuring now, but the difference is here, he's kind of pressuring with his legs far back, his hips back, and almost his back's curved. You don't get as much power, you can't gain as much distance and, and suck your opponent's hips away or indeed the legs. So, I mean, it could say to me that Alex is tired. I mean, look to his corner and ask how long left in the round. It could be taking its toll from Alex also wrestling so hard. Yeah, Linus thought about that guillotine, I thought, briefly, but gave up on it. Alex now some heavy knees on the inside. And Linus has got to die for these underhooks in this position, circle off the cage. He's using the whizzer to his advantage, but he needs to get the underhooks to get control and circle out of this position with his hands up. And that is all she wrote. This one is in the books. Probably looking at a decision going the way of Taumaki. Credit to him after a prolonged sort of feeling out process in the first round. He got that big takedown and from there it was almost like his, his game plan, his mindset kicked in. Dean. Once he knew he had the wrestling edge, that's all he looked for and he just swarmed and ground down his opponent. Yeah, I mean when you lock up with somebody you, you can feel like if they're strong in the clinch, if they're strong in the takedown defense, you know, or if they're quite good at getting out of submissions and positions, and almost certainly Alex felt that. And he did a great job of grinding down Linus, forcing him to work, making him tired, you know, really taking away that opportunity for him to explode out of those positions. A great work by Alex. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. With the unanimous decision, your winner is...